Good morning, Bay Path University. I am so excited to be here this morning on the 26th anniversary of our campus awakening. So I hope this year is wonderful for everybody. I wish we could all be together this morning, but I am excited to be here and welcome you uh, to Campus Awakening. I have some friends with me. Uh, we're gonna wake up Blake Student Commons. So let me, with this candle, first candle being lit, Are you ready to wake up Blake Student Commons with me, guys? Yes! yes. Carpe diem, yes, Blake, Blake Student, Student Commons. Commons! Hi, good morning. My name is Sarbi Patel. I am the Executive Director of Student Academic Support Services at Bay Path University. Our department provides vital resources to students, including peer tutoring, academic coaching, and reasonable accommodations to students who may need them. As you know, this year's campus theme is Own Your Now. The beauty of the campus theme is that there is no definition. It is what you want it to be. I encourage you to try something new and get off your comfort zone. Meet a new friend, raise your hand in class, join a club, Own Your Now. Whatever you do, know that Student Academic Support Services is here for you. Please join me in awakening Demore Hall. Carpe diem, Demore Hall. Good morning, Bay Path University. My name is Dina Moore, and I'm the Executive Director of the WELL program here on campus. I wanted to welcome you to this new academic year and speak to you a little bit about some things that you can set for yourself in terms of goals for this new year. So when it comes to owning your now, I ask all of you, how are you going to own your now? Is it going to be that you're going to take advantage of the resources that you have? Is it going to be that you're going to be bold in your classrooms and ask questions that you may have and not be afraid and take advantage of the safe spaces within your, those circles? So whether it is that you're going to see that tutor, whether it is that you're going to speak to the professor, and ask questions, whether it is that you're going to join a club this year, I encourage you to feel like you can. I welcome you to this academic year and I wish nothing but the very best for all of you. I'm gonna go ahead and light this candle on behalf of all of you. Carpe diem, Car Hall. Good morning, my name is Elizabeth Cardona and I'm the Executive Director of the Office of Multicultural Affairs and International Student Life. Our mission is to advocate, empower, and to affirm. And we do this by promoting cultural events and creating programs uh, where we can celebrate and promote diversity, equity, and inclusion. As part of the tradition, I'm going to light the candle and we are going to wake up the Office of Multicultural Affairs. Carpe diem, Office of Multicultural Affairs. Good morning, students, and welcome to Campus Awakenings 2020. I'm Dr. Mara Devlin, the Academic Dean of the School of Undergraduate Studies, and I'm thrilled to be here with you today. I have uh, some brief advice for you and then one wish for you for this academic year. The advice has to do with possibly being anxious about a new school year, new professors, online classes, not to mention the precautions we're taking because of the pandemic, but the advice I want to share is a pithy little phrase 
that will help you embrace the anxiety with resilience and grace. So the phrase is better bend than break. So that means don't be afraid of different things, changed circumstances, new friends, new professors. This will be a philosophy that will have you enjoy this year and own your now, our campus theme for this year. And now my wish for you is to have you meet one new friend or one new professor. Because research has shown that even one connection to a college has a student feel a true sense of belonging. And with belonging and the community that we have here at Bay Path and all the active teaching and learning practices, you will flourish. And you'll be surprised at how much you will have grown by next May. And so with all of that, I'm standing here in front of Elliott Hall, and it's time to wake this building up. I have been working here in this building since mid-July, since when my Wi-Fi my wi at home got worse and worse. So I've been coming to this building. But back in July, the building here was a ghost town. Slowly, some other faculty and staff are, are starting to come back, but it's definitely time to wake up sleepy Elliott Hall. So I'm gonna light the candle and do just that. So please join me virtually in waking up Elliot Hall by saying, Carpe diem, Elliot Hall. Okay. Good morning. My name is Peter Tostori. I'm Dean of Academic Support Services and Assistant Coordinator of Title IX. This is a slightly different way to kick off the fall semester, isn't it? Even though we aren't together in person, sleepy-eyed and excited, I know that each and every one of you is still bringing a similar set of emotions, hopes and dreams to this new academic year. I certainly am. I'm standing in front of Hatch Learning Commons, one of many academic supports available to you throughout your time at Bay Path. We've worked hard over the summer to ensure that tutoring, academic coaching, library services and accessibility services are available to all of you in a safe and efficient ways. I hope you'll take advantage of them. No matter the challenges in front of us, we still have our dreams to chase and our goals to achieve. I encourage you to own your now and your future, to commit to those goals and dreams. You've made it here because of who you are and the community you're a part of, and you'll continue to succeed for just those reasons. So with that, let me light our candle. And carpe diem, Hatch Learning Commons. Good morning, students. Thank you for joining me for our 2020 Awakening. Now this tradition dates back 26 years, so a quarter of a century. It was created by students and the then president, Carol O'Leary. And it has persevered through the years for the last 26 years, and it will persevere through the next uh, decennial. So thank you so much for being here this morning. You are so important to us. These traditions are carried on because they are important to you. Our philosophy, our mission, our spirit is embodied in everything that we do here whether we do it with you, whether we do it with our faculty and with our staff, it is such an important part of who we are. This year, our theme, Own Your Now, couldn't be more perfect and more powerful. It is the unity. It is being together in spirit, even if we're not always together in body. So I encourage you, use it with power, own it, do those things that give you great comfort, that build your confidence, uh, whether it's interacting with faculty, interacting with staff, interacting with your residence advisors. Those are the people that collectively make our community strong. So I'm going to light the final candle.
Friends, this final candle is a symbol of our strength. It is a symbol of our spirit and our mission and who we are as a community. I couldn't be happier to be part of your community and to have you be part of mine. In the spirit that binds us all for this year, Carpe Diem, Leary Hall. Hi, my name is Michaela Lenski. I'm a freshman this year, planning to major in interior design. Um, my goal for this year is to kind of put myself out there, relax a little, and make some friends and try new things. My name is Yalizia Amada. I'm the class of 2024. My major is child psychology, and I want to be a school psychologist. Hi, my name is Samantha Davey. I'm majoring in hospitality management. I'm a freshman this year, and my goal is to get out of my comfort zone. My name is Amara. My major is severe special needs. I am class of 24, and my intention is to become a better me. My name is Emily. I am a freshman this year. I am a biology major, and my intention is to pass all my classes. Hi, my name is Alexis Thorpe. I am a first year this year and my major is cybersecurity. And one goal I have for this year is to get all straight A's. I'm Isabella, I'm a psych major freshman year. Uh, my intention for this year is to speak up for myself and do better. Okay, hi, I'm Isaiah, I'm a first year. I'm majoring in early childhood education. Um, my goal for this year is to prioritize myself. I'm Claire Melbourne. I'm a freshman and I'm a forensic psychology major and my intention this year is to make new friends and procrastinate less.